Hey finders and welcome back to Fortune Finds and welcome to my Sephora VIB sale recommendations video. Guys, this is a weird one. This is a different one. It is very late at night. I am filming this video very last minute. I am extremely tired and I am not wearing an ounce of makeup on my face because I was actually supposed to film this video yesterday. Didn't end up filming this video for, you know, life reasons. You know, life just gets in the way sometimes. And then I plan to film this tomorrow and then I realize that I can't film this tomorrow either. And we're not talking about makeup, which is also another reason why this video is weird. So we got a lot of weirdness going on. However, I'm sending out the good vibes because we're talking about like my two favorite topics that have been my two favorite topics for the last year ever since COVID hit, which is skincare and hair care. We're going to talk about skincare, we're going to talk about hair care, and then we're going to talk about beauty tools. Different people have different times to shop the Sephora VIB sale. However, April 13th, which is today, which is also my grandma's birthday. Grammy, if you're watching this, happy birthday, I love you. No matter if you are Rouge, VIB, Insider, you can go to Sephora today and buy any of these products for a discount. If you're Rouge, you get 20% off. If you are VIB, you get 15% off. And if you're an Insider, you get 10% off. It goes until the 19th. Before we do go ahead and get into all these products, make sure that you subscribe. I would love for you to become a part of my little Fortune Finds family. We are almost 800 subscribers strong, which is so exciting. I love each and every one of you those of you who are new, those of you who have been here since the OG days, which dear God, thank you so much for sticking around because I watch some of my old videos and I just like cringe. Subscribe, click the bell button next to it. This way you get notification every time I upload a new video here on my channel. Next week, I'm going to have like a full on hair video. Okay. I wanted to film that video before I filmed this video, but I didn't have enough time because like I said, the Sephora sale just like crept up on me. Buy the products that I mentioned in today's video. This way you have them so that next week when I upload my hair video, you guys can see how I use them and just go wash your hair and get right to it you know, because that's fun. So first and foremost, I went ahead and I washed my face using my soy face cleanser. If you have big ticket items that you use regularly, say like the soy face cleanser, like I use on a daily basis, then be sure to, you know, buy them now. If not now, then when? Because you're going to get a little bit of coin off. I use my soy face cleanser. If I had been wearing makeup, I would use my pharmacy green clean cleansing balm. But yeah, we're not talking about those because I've talked about them before. I will definitely include a playlist at the end of this video to show you guys all the skincare videos that I've done before. I'll also put a Sephora VIB sale playlist in case you guys want to check out like my tried and true products. I just, I don't want to talk about them again. So for my nighttime skincare routine tonight, I'm going to use the Ule Henriksen Dark Spot Toner. So I'm just taking that on a cotton round. All of my reusable cotton rounds are dirty. I desperately need to do a load of laundry um, and I'm just going to rub this all over my face. Now what this does is it helps to lighten up any dark spots. So I just kind of put this everywhere because I do have discoloration throughout my skin, but then I pat it over the darker spots that I have on my face just to like add a little bit extra of product. This is the trial size and it lasts a nice amount of time because I don't use this every night. I only use this probably like two or three times a week. Favorite serum, Kiehl's Midnight Recovery Concentrate. It not only hydrates my skin, but it really plumps my skin. It really fills in my fine lines. And it just makes my skin look really youthful and it brightens my skin, makes my skin look juicy, like upon first application. This is the sample that Kiehl's always gives us. Like when you go to Kiehl's, when you go to the store, if you do an online order, they always throw a midnight recovery concentrate into your little box. Like, thanks for shopping here. Here's a sample. And for some reason, like it would always annoy me that they would send only this and they would never give me other products. I don't want to use this. I'm so sick of getting the sample. I wish they would mix it up to the point where I just like wouldn't use it. Like I didn't try the samples, but I would use them on Mike. Like I would do put them on Mike's skin at night whenever he would like you know, say, hey, can you put a little moisturizer on my face? And I never really like noticed how great of a product it was on his skin because he naturally just has like really awesome skin, but oh my God, this has an oil consistency. I really like that it has a little dropper. I'll put a drop on my forehead and I, oh, I just got that on my clothes. <laughs> and I usually put a drop on both of my cheeks. But it's just like a really, it's like a dry oil. It absorbs into the skin really quickly. It makes my skin look so juicy and dewy. Like, can you see the sheen on my cheek? Don't sleep on this. Don't be a hater like I was. Like, I really hated this and was like so mad at it. <laughs> 
every time I got the sample, I was like, damn it. Why can't they just give me something else? But oh my God, if you are someone that has extremely dry skin, you need this. And I feel like it'll be great in the summer too, because like I said, it's a relatively like dry oil. My skin eats it and it feels so nice and so good on the skin. Like, and a lot of the times at night when my skin was really acting up, you know, just like, you know, when you have a sensitive skin, sometimes you just can't put a lot of product on your skin because it irritates your skin. I would just put this serum on with a little bit of eye cream and call it a day and just go to bed. This is hydrating enough to the point where I could skip my moisturizer if my skin just needed a nice little breather. So I highly recommend this. Let's just say 90% of the things in this video have never been mentioned in a Sephora VIB sale. But this is also Kiehl's. This is the Youth Dose Eye Treatment. This has pro-retinol, grapeseed extract, and vitamin C. This does a really great job of minimizing fine lines. It's hydrating, but it's like not the most hydrating eye cream. So if you really, really need hydration, I would recommend something like the Shiseido Benefiance 24 hour wrinkle resist eye cream. Feels really nice. It's definitely soothing. It's a very thin cream, which I like a thin eye cream, but if you are someone that just needs like a lot of hydration, try the Benefiance or I would also try the Glow Recipe Avocado Retinol Eye Cream. Oh my God, that stuff is so amazing too. But this one's great because it really helps to smooth out my skin. Again, it smooths out my fine lines and it just makes my eye area look like 10 years younger. I'm not kidding, which I think is why it's called the youth dose eye treatment. I was like highly insulted at Sephora because I went on Sephora on their home screen. It was like skincare for the ages and it was like 20s, teens, 30s, 40s, 50s. And this specific one was recommended for those of you. I was gonna say us guys, but it was my birthday on April 4th and I turned 30. So I'm no longer in my 20s, which is kind of wild. It said that if you're in your 20s, you should use the Lotus Youth Preserve Night Cream, which I absolutely love this, but I'm no longer in my 20s. So does this mean that this is not good for me anymore? Like I'm highly insulted. Fresh should be ashamed because I have purchased like six jars of these. So if they think that just because I'm 30, it's not gonna work for me anymore, like newsflash, they got another thing coming because I'm gonna continue to buy this it's gonna to continue to work for me because I don't care how old I am. Don't age discriminate. Insulting Sephora. It smells really nice. It's really, really light on the skin and it's extremely hydrating. So for those of you who have really dry skin, this is where it's at. It's not heavy on the skin. Your skin will absorb it instantly. And I think that this is just one of those products that it's great for any age. And I also think that it's great for any kind of skin type. If you have oily skin, you know, it is gonna be a little slippery because it is extremely hydrating. But just because you have oily skin doesn't mean that your skin doesn't need hydration. And I think you will get along with this because it absorbs so quickly and it is so thin. It's not gonna feel like there's a lot of product on your skin, but it's gonna make it really hydrated. Okay, so in terms of application, that's all I'm gonna apply to my skin. I'm not mentioning any hydrating lip balms because I still have my Laneige sleeping mask that I do like. However, if you're gonna buy anything from the Sephora VIB sale, I would totally recommend the Primera Lip Berry Mask, whatever it's called. I will put both of them down below, but I've talked about both of them. Tatcha the Water Cream. It's an oil-free cream, really absorbs into the skin beautifully. I have a trial size. I have gone through my trial size. There is absolutely nothing in here. So I am now going to splurge and buy the full size, but I get, you know, 20% off because I'm a Rouge member. So I'm gonna save a decent amount of money and I'm definitely gonna buy one for myself and I'm gonna buy one for my kit, so for my clients, just because it's definitely one of those creams that it's clean beauty. Anything that is clean beauty that I'm mentioning here, I will put a little asterisk next to down below. This way you know that it is clean beauty. Clean beauty, it's oil-free, it absorbs into the skin beautifully and anyone's skin, whether it's oily or dry, just sucks it in and it doesn't leave a slip to your face. You don't have to worry about your makeup moving around on top of it. So I just think it is a beautiful, primer for any kind of makeup, any kind of foundation. It's it's just awesome. So I think I need two jars of this, to be honest. Excessive, but necessary. This is something that I stock up on every Sephora VIB sale. I buy two of these, Sol de Janeiro Bum Bum Cream. Smooths your skin, smooths your bum. It really does. You know, I brought the receipts during last year's summer must-haves video. I'll link that video up here if you guys wanna check it out. But if you want a smoother bum, you really need this. And it's super hydrating. It's nice when your man like rubs up on your booty and he's like, ooh, you're nice and smooth and like moisturized. It feels very like soft. Who doesn't love that? 
rub my butt more, it feels nice. I don't know how you're gonna feel about it. I'm gonna tell you how I feel about it. Fresh Rose Deep Hydration Sleeping Mask. If you have oily skin, I think you will like this. If you have dry skin, I think that you will like this as long as you have a very hydrating serum, like the Midnight Recovery Concentrate from Kiehl's on before you apply this, okay? I was just using my regular Schmegular Sobel Skin RX serum that I absolutely loved. That is great for smoothing out long Lines, evening out the skin tone. It has niacinamide in it. It's so good. That is currently in my Sephora VIP basket, to be totally and completely honest. Did I mention that in the Sephora VIP sale? I don't know, but I'll link the clean beauty video down below because guys, like, I love the skincare in front of me, but I equally love the skincare products that I mentioned in that video. I was using my Soulbell Skin RX Serum and then applying this on top of it, and I just, my skin still felt tight. This is called a hydration sleeping mask, but it's not very hydrating. What it does do is it's definitely brightening. It will brighten your skin. Like, I wake up in the morning and I look five years younger. Like, I just look youthful. It looks plumper. However, I don't feel hydrated, again, unless I use the Midnight Recovery Concentrate. Put a little bit of the essence. Is it an essence? Yeah, they call it an essence, which is kind of like a serum. Leave that on your skin. I would let that sit for like a minute or two and then you go in with the lotion. There is a lot less essence provided to you than there is lotion, okay? This essence glides on a, like really well though, so you really don't need a lot. And I also don't think you need a lot of the cream, but the ratio was just wrong and I don't know why the essence just runs out so much quicker. If you're looking for something different, you want to change up your nighttime skincare routine, I I would get it. I don't think this is something that you need though. You know, like I think you, you need, need this. I'm being honest. Let's talk about my daytime products. I don't want to be here for too long because I've talked about these two in recent videos, but Maraud does it right. They do daytime, you know, products for me, right? Being someone, again, that has dry, sensitive skin, I can't wear a lot of layers in the day. It's just, I get hot. My face gets really red. It's just my skin. It just, it can't, it can't handle a lot. So I've been loving this combination. This combination is beautiful on its own. This combination is beautiful under makeup. It's just, it's so good. So let's talk about the serum first because you apply this before you apply your day cream. The Maraud Resurgence Rapid Collagen Infusion. This is just really going to reduce the appearance of wrinkles and immediately restores a more youthful appearance. It really brightens my skin. It evens out my skin and it definitely does plump my skin, honestly. And I can just, I see a difference when I use this every day. Kind of like, it feels a little like silicone-y, like it absorbs into my skin really like quickly. It doesn't sit on top of my skin. It almost feels like you're not wearing anything on your skin. So you definitely need to put something over this. Okay. This is not very, very hydrating. And I think it's beautiful under makeup. And I think it's equally beautiful under this day perfecting cream SPF 30 by Maraud. I'm not kidding you. I feel like I'm in such a good place with my skin because I've really been focusing so much on what I put on my skin, what I put in my body for the last year that my skin is just like so much better. When I go to work, I will wake up in the morning I will put this little duo on, slap this SPF 30 on my face, and my skin just looks dewy, delicious. It looks really even, and I'm not kidding. Like, I don't put any concealer on. I don't put any foundation on. I literally fill in my brows, put a little bit of mascara on, call it a day. I feel really comfortable in my skin, and I just think that this is a beautiful sunscreen. Again, if you want to do a full face beat, you can put this underneath it. You can mix this in with a little bit of foundation to sheer out a foundation, give yourself more of a skin tint. Like, this is just so versatile, and it sits so well under anything. It never pills. It never clumps, and neither does this that I just think Think that these are beautiful things and you need to get your hands on them. Seriously. This is a tricky product, okay? You know, I love it, but I also hate it. I feel like I feel that way with most things in life. Cool out refreshing water mist sunscreen with SPF 18. SPF 18 is not enough, right? Hear me out. When I'm going to work, I bring a backpack with me. So I make sure that this sits up. You don't wanna lay this down because this will spill everywhere. It will get everywhere. It will make a mess. So if you have a regular kind of pocketbook, don't throw this in your pocketbook. I'm just telling you how I use it, okay? So I have a backpack, I have a little outside pocket that this sits in my backpack like this when I go to work. I put my SPF 30 on my face, on my chest, before I go outside to grab coffee, to grab lunch, 
to go home for the day, I will take this mist and just spritz my face. I'll spritz my chest and it's kind of just reapplying your sunscreen without having to actually like reapply your sunscreen. And especially if you're wearing makeup, you know, you can't reapply sunscreen on top of makeup because you will remove all of your makeup. So get a face mist. This one's pretty good. If I'm not going anywhere and I'm sitting at home, you know, dermatologists say that you should apply SPF regardless because, you know, sun rays can get in through windows and whatnot. I'll do my daily moisturizer that is not SPF, um, that is not sold at Sephora. So, you know, whatever. I'll spritz some of this over it just so that will bounce some of those rays that are coming out of the window out. This is a trial size, however. I think that you need this because spring is upon us. Summer is right around the corner. Sun Silk Drops. I've talked about these a couple times. Not in a Sephora VIB sale though. These have an SPF of 30. You can mix this in with anything. You can mix this in any kind of foundation and voila, you are protected with an SPF of 30. I think it's great. I think you need this and I just think it's like a really smart product. I'm kind of mad that I didn't come up with this product myself, you know? Like that's pretty awesome considering I am like the SPF queen to be totally and completely honest with you. For tanning, I've talked about this. This is the Saint Tropez Bronzing Mousse. I mix one pump of my lotion with one pump of this and I just bronze all over my skin. Like I don't use a mitt, I don't really know. I feel like I watch a lot of YouTube videos and YouTubers are like, oh, you need a mitt to apply tanner. And like, I'm just too lazy to buy a mitt. Maybe I'll buy a mitt in the Sephora VIB sale. No, I won't. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna buy it because I really don't need it. Um, I apply this with my hands and it works one, two, three, fine. I've never mentioned this though, and also a love-hate relationship, but I thought I should just mention it because a lot of people like it and maybe, maybe it's just me, you know? Like maybe it's me, not you. Saint Tropez Self Tan Purity Vitamins Serum. I've never really been one to tan my face whenever I self tan, but to be fair, you know, I've never lived in a time of COVID. So I wasn't going anywhere, I wasn't doing anything. I wasn't wearing makeup. I would look weird with a really white face and a really dark body. So I invested in this. I bought this during the last Sephora VIB sale. You can't like, put this on and then put moisturizer on over it. I noticed that the tan gets a little splotchy blotchy, which nobody likes that. So you genuinely have to make sure that your skin is hydrated prior because this is not a very hydrating serum. And I can't put, like I said, I can't put face cream on over top of this because then it makes my tan all messed up. So the night before I know I'm going to use this, I will go ahead and put some oil on my face before I go to bed. I'll use my Tarte Maracuja oil, which I'm pretty sure you can buy at Sephora as well. So there you go. Just Maracuja and that while I'm sleeping. Next day, my skin will be hydrated enough where I can handle this. So it's kind of a sticky serum too. Like it just, I don't enjoy the experience of using this. However, if I use it by itself, like my tan looks really even and it looks really natural and I just look sun-kissed, you know? I don't look orange, I don't look streaky, and this is clean beauty as well. Just throwing it out there in case you need something to tan your face. I think we're done with skincare, so let's talk about hair care, and I'm gonna try and do this really quick. I feel like this year was really the year where I took the time to do my hair because I could do my hair once and it could last for four days, and I just felt like whether I was wearing makeup or not, I just felt pretty. Before I wash my hair, I used the Olaplex Hair Perfector number three. I talked a little bit of trash when I first got it because I didn't find that it made my hair feel silky smooth like so many people said it makes their hair feel silky smooth. And I didn't find that it was helping to correct any damage like it claims to do. I would leave it on for 10 minutes like the packaging says and wash my hair and it was like, oh, I feel like my L'Oreal hair mask makes my hair feel softer than this. However, no one told me that if you leave it on for like 20, 30, 40, 60, minutes like your hair will feel silky smooth like you wash this out of your hair and it's so soft it feels like the softest like blanket if you do get this wear it longer than it says try to do it for like 20 minutes see how that goes if you can push it to an hour do it I think this is great and I also talked a little bit smack about this I didn't wear this long enough so this is just a hair turban you know you put your head down you put the little button on the back twist your hair into this and then you connect the two ends and it's just like a turban for your head and it helps to dry your hair. Personally, I think that if you don't think about the repercussions of this being too tight on your head, I think this could be an awful product. So you never want the turban to be like yanking on your hair because if it's yanking on your hair, it's gonna pull your hairline back and you're gonna start to get traction alopecia where your hairline is gonna start to recede because of the constant pressure that you're putting on your hair. And in case you guys don't know, when your hair is wet, your hair is the weakest. So you really wanna be gentle with your hair. What I do is I wrap my head and then I kind of like 
loosen it so that the front of my hair kind of sticks out like my hairline sticks out so it's not yanking the rest of this will be in here drying so it's just like make sure it's not pulling on your head leave it on for like a while and let your hair really dry in it your hair will dry way less frizzy softer in my personal opinion just makes your life so much easier because it gets your hair out of your face you can do your makeup you can get dressed and then you know do your hair last after I take my turban off I will use this this is the Bumble and Bumble Hairdressers Invisible Oil. It helps protect your hair from heat and the sun. And it comes in a spray. I don't spray this directly into my hair. I spray my hand. One full spray. That was like a half ass spray. Rub my hands together. Do one half of my head. Do one full spray. Rub my hands together and do the other half of my head. And I just, I think it's important to use a heat protector. Really pricey. But I gotta be honest, I've been using this for over a year now. And I literally use this every time I wash my hair. And I'm only to here. Like, it, it lasts a really long time. Granted, I really don't wash my hair that often. I wash my hair once a week. Mike thinks it's appalling, but I think it's great because it's less work for me and I just feel like my hair is healthier because I'm not like stripping it of its natural oils. But again, stay tuned for the hair video, guys, because I grew my hair pretty long since I don't wash my hair that often. Sometimes we could get a little stanky. So this is what I use that for. This is the Verb Ghost Dry Oil. This is supposed to refresh, condition, and smooth, and it's supposed to help make your blowouts last longer. But I gotta be honest, I use this to make my hair just like smell nice. It's a little spray. I don't even know if you could see that. It smells so freaking good. I'll put it pretty far from my hair and just spray a little bit like that. It smells so nice, but I don't use a lot. Then I'll get in bed and Mike will be like, oh, you smell so nice. And I'll be like, yeah, you know why? It's my hair, okay? And you give me a problem that I only wash it once a week. <laughs> Oh my God, guys, if you don't own this, I think that you need to own this. And if you have someone in your life that is a skincare freak and she or he has a birthday coming up, you need to buy this for him or her because it's really going to plump your skin. It's gonna tighten your skin. It just, it gives like a really tightness. And especially for me, I'm not really struggling with wrinkles right now. I feel like my skin is in a really good spot in terms of that. However, like the sagging in my mouth region. It's not great. And this has really made all the difference. If you guys missed my new face video, you can literally see the results like right after using it once. The more that you use it, the better your results will be and the longer the effects will last. But let me tell you something. If you're a lazy mofo like me and you like just don't feel like doing it sometimes, like one time will do you. Yeah. Do it before you do your makeup, apply your makeup and you will look like 10 years younger. I'm not kidding you. Check out this video. I will link it down below for you to check out after but this is so good. It's a microcurrent device, so it kind of just massages all of the muscles in your face and makes them tighter instantly. Oh my God, the pop on my cheek, like it's just, it literally looks like I got fillers in my face when I didn't know such thing because I'm a pansy. This is probably like the best gift I've ever received. Like it's very, very up there. It's very up there. I use this every single time I wash my hair. Reason why I enjoy doing my hair now, it's just, I didn't believe the hype, okay? There's no way. I'm I'm ever gonna buy that, that is ridiculous. Who needs to spend that much money? But that much money needed to be spent for me to love my hair and enjoy doing my hair as much as I do. You get so much inside. These are probably my most used devices, the smaller little curlers to curl my hair. It also comes with bigger ones, but I find that the bigger ones don't stay in my hair long enough. And I gotta be honest, I don't really use any of the other attachments. Like it comes with these two brushes. I have no idea. I think I've used one of them once. I like this to curl my hair and give it a little bit of a bounce. If you are someone that spends your money on blowout, or ever once spent your money on blowouts and when the world goes back to normal you plan to continue to do the same like I really think that this is worth it you'll get your money's worth like 10 times over like that's how amazing amazing this product is I gotta be honest apologies for this little all over the place video however I wanted to make sure that I got this one in for you guys I like I said I feel like I've just done such a deep dive in my hair in my skincare this year and I just didn't really feel right talking about makeup because I feel like I just would have sat here talking about the same products that I always talk about so so I really hope that you guys enjoyed this. If you did, give it a thumbs up down below. Leave me some love in the comments. Let me know what are you gonna buy during the Sephora VIB sale, whether it's makeup, skincare, hair care, anything in between. Let me know. I always love to hear what it is you guys have your eye on. Let me know if you have tried any of the products that I mentioned in this video. What do you think about them? Do you love them? Do you hate them? Is your opinion in line with mine? Is it different? I love to just discuss, discuss the beauty. That is what it is all about. I had a wonderful time as always. Make sure that you subscribe and ring that bell before you leave and I will see you in my next one. Bye finders. Mwah.